being homeless, there's a lot of people that are misinformed. They think, hey, just get a job. Well, I got a job. You know, they think, hey, you don't have to be homeless. It's a choice. And I mean, to an extent, maybe it is a choice. Maybe it's not. But I mean, if you don't make enough money to stay somewhere where you feel safe or you don't want to throw your money, run, uh, you know, uh, renting a place when, you know, living in your car could save you that $500 a month, you know. Um, but there's a lot of misinformation towards all this stuff. Um, my opinion, a lot of jobs uh, force you to be uh, homeless. I mean, you know, the house, uh, uh, cost of living, uh, the cost of housing, uh, have, finding affordable housing is extremely hard, you know. And then you got to ask yourself, you know, you work so hard and you barely keep this roof over your head. You know, um, if you get sick, what are you going to fall back on? I think I saw something like more than 80% of, uh, of Americans have, have like only a thousand dollars in their bank account. So let's say something bad with, you know, could happen. You know, let's say you got sick. Let's say you got hurt. Let's say that, you know, it was even the, your job's fault. Well, you know, workman's comp takes a long time, you know, if you were to sue those people. So a lot of people are closer to home, being homeless than they actually realize. And I think that's where some of the negative, uh, negative stuff comes out where they're like, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, give to somebody, you know, uh, you know, uh, they had, they're just as, uh, you know, have as much as ability as I do. You know, I, I can work. Why can't they? Well, they do work. They just don't make uh, as much money as you. And if you can't afford to give somebody something that that's fine, you nobody's, nobody's making you do it. <clears throat> you know, um, if you want to be charitable, then that's cool. If you don't want to be charitable, that's cool. But what's not cool really is, is putting them down thinking that, wait a minute, there's programs out there. I mean, I get these comments and they don't bother me. I'm, I'm happy that anybody leaves a comment. You know, if you take your time to write something, then, then I'm, I'm happy about that. And to tell you the truth, 90% of my, my comments are all very, very positive. In, in fact, um, that reminds me, I did get a donation. Um, I haven't posted a video since I got a donation, which is really cool. I really want to thank you. Uh, you came out, <laughs> that, that donation came out clutch, man. I take uh, blood pressure pills and I was, I was short on money and uh, that donation came unexpectedly and I was able to pick up my, my, uh, my medication for it. And that's the only medication I take is blood pressure pills. So that's super dope. <clears throat> I do, um, I do live in my car. I am homeless right now. Of course, I'm inside the house. This is not mine. Um, it's one of the little things that I do to uh, being resourceful. I do gig apps, but then when things are slow or my market's slow or there's just too many, you know, too many drivers out there, I go to Lowe's and I go to Home Depot and I see people buying stuff and uh, I offer to, to help them and I let them know, you know, uh, like, you know, I'll show them my class A uh, driver's license. Like, you know, hey, I've had background checks. I'm clean, uh, clean dude. Um, you know, I've been trusted with millions of dollars of freight. I'm not a thief. Um, just looking to make a couple bucks, you know, oh, you want some drywall hung, you know, oh, you, that vinyl flooring you want, that vinyl siding, or you're putting up a shed in the backyard. I might not, uh, I might not have the tools to do all that stuff because I, I, I do have a bag of tools, but it, it's not good, you know, the best stuff. Like I, if you ask me to cut something, I can't cut it. Got to, you know, we just got some basic stuff, but nonetheless, um, you know, Hey, a helper that's dirt cheap, man. You know, if, uh, you know, uh, of course I, I want to make make money when I when I do something like that, but I'm not going to charge an arm and a leg. You know, if I've never put aluminum siding in before, um, you know, I'm not going to charge what they charge. You know, I'm cool with hey, give me what you can afford. Wait till you see when when I'm done. Never uh, never lazy. I'm working the whole time, and sometimes I'll say hey, uh, that and if uh, you know I could take a shower or use your Wi-Fi while I'm there. You know. And I have Wi-Fi on my phone, but when I upload videos from my phone, that Wi-Fi takes forever. So if I could connect to theirs and and record here, and you know it, that works out, and that's what uh, that's what the deal I got going on. Um, they're actually uh, in the next room. I told them I'm just gonna film a video, take a shower, and then get out of here. And uh, they they've been totally cool. But yeah, walk around, see people buy paint. That's a good hustle, man. I, and sometimes homes, uh, Home Depot and Lowe's, you can hang out outside there. Uh, it's not as common. Um, you know, normally it's, uh, you know, people that, you know, that are, uh, you know, illegals or whatever. They're, uh, they're out there doing it. Some, some lows and home depots that crack down on it. Me, I'm an American citizen. I'll stand out there. Nobody ever tells me to leave. And that's not something I do every single day. It's just when I know things are slow or if I had a good morning, um, you know, to an Uber Eats and DoorDash and then the afternoon is, is, you know, nothing going on. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, stop by there and see if I can make some money. Um, but uh, being homeless is being resourceful. Before I was homeless and before living in my car, I would have never thought to go into Home Depot and do that. You know, um, driving trucks um, and being home every single day, I did pick up the, the, the apps. 
for um, when um, my trucks weren't running or they weren't, you know, they only had a couple hours, you know, if you guys seen that video, um, well, I have several videos, but one of the videos I talk about how <clears throat> I ended up having to leave a trucking job because they only had two or three hours uh, of work a night. And um, so, you know, I had to, I had to do apps. And then at that point it's like, why am I, why am I even driving a truck, you know? Uh, and not making very much money. I'm better off, you know, doing doing apps, and not, uh, you know, not waiting around and not getting paid. You know what I mean? So being homeless, a lot of uh, a lot of the stuff that they um, there are there are programs that help. Um, I don't fall in that category, and that's what I want to talk about. <clears throat> Just uh, you know, every every place is different. Every uh, every state and local and government, uh, they all have their rules, right? So all the shelters are are packed right now where I'm at. You could get emergency shelter. However, you had to fall into one of the categories. One of the categories, I mean, I'm gonna name the categories right now, is um, uh, you're uh, older than 55, I believe. It's something, you, a lot, uh, you're gonna be a lot older. I'm not 55, I'm a lot younger. Um, documented mental illness. So you can't go in there and say, I have anxiety and I'm anxious or I have P PTSD. You have to have something documented um, for that. One, another is being a vet, serving our country, um, which I've not done, and I don't have any documented mental illness, uh, you know, and I don't have illnesses that I that, that I are undocumented either. I'm, I'm okay. Um, another is if you have kids. Uh, so if you have kids and you and your kids are out on the street or you and your kids are, um, you know, um, in, in uh, trouble, like, you know, you're about to hit the streets, there's programs for you. Um, they're like... They'll, they'll put you into a shelter if um, even if it if they're full they'll, they'll, they'll find room or they'll I guess they'll ask somebody to leave <sighs> not 100 percent sure um, but yeah I tried checking into a shelter couldn't do it uh, so those are the things uh, uh, being uh, older over 55 uh, documented mental illness um, being a vet or uh, having children oh and then the, the last one is escaping domestic violence. Now with that one, I don't know how they prove um, that you are, um, but I imagine if a woman, you know, has some marks on her and she said that she's escaping that, I'm sure that they probably believe her, you know what I mean? Or maybe there's no marks, maybe, uh, you know, she's she's able to show that she's, um, you know, called the cops before and there's a restraining order, something of that nature. I'm not sure how they do it, but those are the ways to do it um, out here, right? So when they're like, oh, you don't have to be homeless and, you know, so then we talk about Section 8, and we talk about um, low-income housing. So that is done through the local level of where I live. <clears throat> the local levels uh, of doing that is the same thing. If you fall in those categories, I told you, they can get you a voucher, but it, um, uh, the voucher will, uh, they'll get you a Section 8 voucher, or they can get you a place for free. They would um, get you uh, probably a basic minimum wage job, you know, if you if you're if you're not working, they try to put you in some kind of job thing, and you're gonna be waiting for a very long time. You won't have to wait as long as somebody like me. Like if I went there, I would never get it. You know, they they would they wouldn't give it to me. The things that I do qualify for is if I wanted food stamps, I can get food stamps. I make less than what what's required, um, and food pantries. You know. And where I get my information is not just Google. I call 211, and that's the best uh, resource for it. You might not get all your answers on the first phone call. You could get somebody who doesn't, you know, doesn't really want to help or doesn't have very much uh, information. But if you call a couple times and, or if you get somebody good, then then you should be able to find it. You know, I had to call to uh, 211 like three times until I got somebody. I was like, listen, the shelters are full. You guys tried to get me into there, and um, and uh, I don't fall into, you know, they're full and I don't fall into one of the emergency categories. So I can't go into a shelter. Uh, that means uh, me not going to the shelter it also means I don't qualify for, for um, their, their kind of job training or job placement either. And I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm happy that those the, the, those particular people are um, are, uh, are able to, to receive help. I just think that it, there should be another category for people that don't fall underneath that that, that still need help. Um. So being homeless is being resourceful. Um, you know, I don't like looking homeless. I'm clean shaven. How I do that is, is I uh, I have a ten dollar um, uh, Planet Fitness membership. I don't shave there. I shower. I do shower there and I do work out there. Um, I shower there more often than I work out there. Like um, you know, I work out, but 
I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not being consistent enough. Um, I do have friends that I can call if I needed a shower. I try not to bother them. They have family and they have children. You know, um, if I was really, really, really starving, I'm sure I could call and I'm asking for food, but I'm, I'm trying to be resourceful and I'm trying to be, um, you know, self-reliant, you know what I mean? Like I don't want to bother somebody. So I'm not, I'm not out asking. And for the people that, that have put comments saying that I'm on here e-begging, I am not. Uh, I've gotten one donation on one of, you know, on, on some of my videos, I say at the very end, or I say at once, if you want to donate and you want to bless me and you want to show some love, it'd be appreciated, but it's not necessary, you know? Um, so that, that answers that. Um, the cold has been hard. Uh, you know, I've been at it for, for quite some time, uh, living in my car, um, some weeks and sometimes save money. And a week later, uh, you know, you need tires, you need an uh, oil change, especially doing gig apps. I, I, it's not like I just live in my car. I work in my car. Um, you know, so that's another thing too. I don't carry a lot of stuff. I don't carry a lot of stuff because I don't want people to know. And why I don't want people to know is because I don't want them being, you know, like treating me different. It's not that, uh, you know, my family knows, my friends know. Uh, the people uh, that, that see me set up uh, set up my car at uh, truck stops and rest areas. I don't like stealth camping very much, but uh, I, I have had to do it. Um, you know, I've done it to save gas. You know, I've done it um, so, um, you know, I could blend in and, the you know, where I was working at uh, was only a block or two away. <clears throat> um, the gyms, not so much either. There's a lot of, uh, you know, people that are, you know, nosy and stuff. You can get away with it. Uh, Walmart's, you can sleep there as well, but you never know. Like if you, if you went to one, like not all Walmarts are equal, you know, some will let you go. You know, the ones that in my experience are the ones that are more ratchet, you know, uh, the truck stops, truck stops don't always have overnight parking. Some of them have it where you got to pay for your parking or, uh, or it's only employees, um, can park overnight. And then so can the truck drivers, but not the cars. Some of them in ratchet areas, they don't really have that. However, you deal with other stuff, you know, you may deal with, um, uh, crackheads, people being drunk, people using stuff, uh, loud people, you know, loud stuff, fights, people getting robbed, um, you know, worse stuff happens, that kind of stuff, uh, happens all the time. It happens on the daily. Um, I normally stay in more of the ratchet areas because I really don't want, Somebody knocking on my door and telling me to leave or trying to write me a ticket. Um, you know, I, uh, you know, I, I don't want them, I don't want to be bothered, you know, but there's, you know, there's uh, risk and rewards to stuff. Staying in a ratchet area, I'm, you know, if somebody tries to knock on my door, it might be somebody trying to bust in. If they're trying to bust in, then, then I'm going to have to defend myself and make sure they don't, you know, take my property and stuff like that. My particular area, people who have fly signs, you know, uh, they, that is like the first telltale sign that they're 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 new because in the area i live it paints a a, a bigger target on you one people are not uh, generous out here like that you know i you know pe people are people right i guess uh you know if i was in las vegas and i had a cool sign maybe maybe that would fly there over where, I, where i'm at no um in fact all the other homeless people and especially the people that have bad habits, they see that and they're like, oh, okay, I don't have to stand out there all day holding a sign. I'll let that guy do it. And then when he starts walking away when it's dark, I'm going to go ahead and get him. And that's usually who, those are the people that usually get robbed. And not only do they get robbed, they get their shoes took and their coats took and all that. Like, they don't just want the few dollars that you made that day. <laughs> they want everything they got. They're going for broke. They'll take your hat. They'll take your glasses. They'll take your watch. They'll take your rings, they'll take your pants, they'll take your shoes, shit, they'll even take your socks, man, you know, that, at that point. And normally it's not like, hey, just give it to me and everything's cool. No, they're gonna, they're gonna whoop you. They're gonna whoop you and they're gonna whoop you bad and it's normally more than one person. Generally out here, it's normally about two people, two, three. They, they work in little small groups. And uh, usually it's not just their hands or something else. And uh, they get people like that all the time, unfortunately. Um... Yeah, but being homeless, um, it, it has a, it has good moments where somebody's very, very charitable, and then you know they say one nice thing, and then and it's great, and then you have bad days where it's like you know you know you can be hard on yourself. I'm somebody who wants to see the positivity. I want to, uh, you know, I always think things could be worse. You know, 
So, you know, okay, I understand I got to uh, get an oil change, but at least I have a car that I live in. All right, I know that I'm not making money right now with the gig apps because there's just too many, you know, it's oversaturated market right now. We've got too many drivers. I'm not getting, uh, I'm not getting uh, any, uh, any orders that, that I would take. Um, okay, well, I'll, I'll go to Lowe's. I'll go to Home Depot. You know, uh, I'll, uh, you know, I have little hustles like that and I don't do anything illegal. I, um, you know, I, I won't steal from anybody. I won't steal from stores. I, I, I'm nothing like that at all. I don't drink. I don't do, you know, bad habits, nothing, never have, never will, <clears throat> you know, so I have some other videos that, uh, I hope that if you're finding this one, you go check it out where I can go into de more detail on, on this one. I'm just going to talk about being homeless. Um, you, uh, you use everything till, till the very end. So like, you know, somebody would, you know, throw an empty bottle away. Me, you know, that bottle serves a bunch of purposes and then it can also be recycled for money too. That's another thing, you know, uh, looking for recyclables, you know, um, it's a lot better than just laying around and not getting anything, you know, um, you know, yeah, yeah I seem to appreciate things more. I'm a less wasteful. Um, you know, um, I'm always thankful about, you know, having good manners doesn't cost anything. So pleases and thank yous and excuse me go a very long way. I'm somebody who treats, um, everybody with, uh, with respect and, and, and I want the same, you know, if you don't treat me with respect and I'm going to either walk away or, um, you know, I don't have to deal with you, you know, and that's one of the, 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 the nice things out here is, is having your freedom is I have the freedom to walk away, you know, um, but really wanted uh, to jump on here and make a video because it, it's been a few days since my last one and I want to stay good in the algorithm. I ask that you guys hit the like button, um, drop a comment, even if you don't know what to say, a smiley face, a hi, a hello, that really goes a long way. And I and I hope that you guys do enjoy this content and you do, um, you do subscribe. And um, if you guys want to throw me any donations, my cash app is always in the description. It's the same as my YouTube name, Alien Ascend. And thank you so much.